everybody's kind of pulling it together. But yeah, there's going to be some casualties of this whole situation. I think we know that. Tourism Vancouver is officially asking us to take those staycations. A new campaign has launched called Vancouver Comeback. The goal? To get us out and about supporting tourist-dependent businesses as international travel remains essentially shut down. So we're focusing right now on um, restaurants, some adventure product that is open, and also hotels. Um, locals don't necessarily go straight in their minds to, I'm going to stay in a downtown hotel or in a Vancouver hotel. They always think of that when they travel outside or, you know, farther afield. She says even though Vancouverites do tend to get out and explore, there's still a big market waiting to be tapped into. There's also a lot of people out there who either haven't been for many, many years uh, to some of our local activity and uh, uh, experiences and attractions or they've never been just because they always figure it's there, I'll get to it one day. And, you know, so now is one day, I would say. <laughs> Sarah Vetter is the manager at Spokes Bicycle Rental Shop near Stanley Park in Vancouver. She says local business usually accounts for only about 40% of their clientele, and she's encouraged to see more locals already coming in. We have, yeah, we've seen a lot more people from, you know, farther, farther suburbs than we usually would, people coming in with their family, just wanting to get out and you know, get out of where they've been for the last four months and get some fresh air. And, and we're very seasonal. We don't have a lot of people riding in, just in January. So, you know, we, we make our business in the summer and it carries us through the winter time. So it's definitely crunch time for us. Meanwhile, Sky Helicopters in Pitt Meadows says about 50% of their clientele is international and that any effort to get locals to fill that gap is welcome news. We're very optimistic because people are now looking within the province. And the other thing that we're really noticing is all the cancellation in weddings from larger facilities. People are looking at elopement weddings in the backcountry. Both businesses say they've worked hard to redesign their operations to be safe during the pandemic, and they're ready to welcome those local crowds. As for whether these businesses feel they'll survive? Yeah, we are. We've, we've taken advantage of some of the government programs, and um, we've been really smart with our spending. Definitely, we're making it through, and we'll even be stronger. In Pet Meadows, David Zura, City News.